right, welcome back to Math with Miss Kemmer. So earlier today, one of my students said, you look dead on your YouTube videos. Thanks, kid. Awesome. I don't have feelings, but it's okay. I'm not here to make myself famous. I have a runny nose. It's here for my students to get some help at home with their teacher. So thanks a lot, kid. Stuck it right to me, but that's okay. Uh, so let's imagine you have this problem. Scarlett has 2,426 stickers. She is putting her stickers in her sticker collection book. If each book can fit eight stickers, how many pages does she need? Okay, so think about what's happening. How many stickers does she have? Two thousand four hundred twenty-six stickers. What's she doing to them? Yeah, she's putting them in her sticker book. Okay, so imagine she's got stickers. She's putting them in her sticker book. How much can fit on every page? Eight stickers can fit on every page. What is this problem asking you? Yeah, how many pages does she need? Well, I could draw a page and draw eight little stickers on it and keep going until I hit 2,426. But that could take a long time. So I'm gonna show you today the big seven strategy. It's faster and some kids really love it. And if you don't get it, have an open mind and give it a try. It's actually not so bad. So I'm gonna start with writing my division problem in a, in a very standard algorithm looking sort of way, but I'm not gonna do standard algorithms. Check this out. Ooh, it ends up looking like a big seven. And here's how you do it. You're gonna imagine you're putting those eight stickers on a page, but you're gonna do a bunch at once. So instead of doing eight, 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 what if I did a whole lot? What if I did a hundred pages at once? Or 200 pages at once? Let's try that. 200 pages of stickers and eight at a time. So 200 times eight. So I'm literally gonna write, what if I did 200 pages at once, eight at a time? And what goes underneath is how many stickers are already gone into the pages. So what if you did do 200 pages of eight? How much is that? Well, I know that two times eight is 16, and two zeros means multiply it by 100. So now, we've already put 1,600 stickers onto pages. So how will I know how many I have left? Well, we could do some, do some subtraction and see what's left. So that's six, two, a little bit of regrouping, 14, that's an eight. So now we have 826 stickers left to put away. We've already put 200 pages worth, okay? So if I know I have eight, and I wanna make 826, think about it. Could I use 100 more pages? Yeah, if I have 100 pages full of eight stickers, how many stickers have I put away? 800. So now, how am I gonna see how much I have left? I'm gonna take those 800 away from the ones that I've already put away. I have 26 stickers left to put away. I know my eight times tables. Even if I don't, I could go eight more, eight more, eight more until you run out. Or I could do a large amount again. Uh, let's see, what if I put three pages full of stickers? three pages that each have eight stickers, so 24 stickers. Now I only have two stickers left. Yeah, that's my remainder. So how many pages did we need? 200 plus 100 plus three. So we needed 303 pages 
and there's two stickers left. But if I'm answering this question, I still have two stickers. Do they also need a page? Yeah, they need a page that just won't be full of stickers. It'll only have two stickers on it. So I really need 304 pages, but 303 will be full, and one will have two stickers. Right? As a good scholar, I am not done. I'm going to use my inverse operation to check. So we're at 303 pages and they each have eight stickers. Let's see what we get. 2,424 stickers plus those extra two. And there we have it. The amount of stickers we started with, they're all put away. Don't be scared of Big 7. Give it a try.